Alright guys, it's 3.10. Um, I'm home. Welcome to the vlog. I think today, today is day 390, which means we are 10 days away from 400. That's crazy. I remember hitting 100 in California. Speaking of California, we have 100% blue skies. It looks white from here, but it's very nice out. It's about 54 degrees. Five days ago it was 19 degrees with an overnight low of 7. 7 Fahrenheit. Now we're at 54. And most of the snow is melting, so I guess that's good. And I need to bring that table in. So when the rest of the snow melts and it dries off a little bit, I usually bring that in when I bring the rest of it in in the fall, but I was in a hurry that day and it got put off and the snow's not good for it, so hopefully I'll get that done later today. And it looks like they're home, so there's more good news. All right, I got my new um, badges for the back of the car here today from Turner Motorsport. It was uh, $79.76 for the BMW roundel for the trunk, the M badge, and the 5, which is in here somewhere. That's easy to put on. I've taken the old one off to clean under it. These are really sticky. Some adhesive on the back, so putting them on won't be a problem, but I don't know how the old ones are going to come off. So I'll figure that out in the spring. I'm going to wait till spring because I don't need salt all over them for the next month or two. So come spring, that'll be a nice uh, refresh to the back of the car. Because I know the colors on the M badge have faded a little bit, and the other ones have just oxidized over 11 years. So that'll be nice. It's been a while since that door has opened. There's why we haven't been opening it. This crap's on the way. That's coming down soon, though. So here's what it looks like out here. Just a freaking wasteland. And uh, I really want to get that table in. So I think I'm going to try to do that now. But as you can see, I'm going to have to clean this up first. And we usually just put it on the floor in here because it weighs maybe 200 pounds or so and it's very difficult to move. We used to put it in the basement, but that's when we had the old glass one and it was a lot lighter because it was just aluminum. This is all iron. All right, there's the umbrella stand down here. That thing weighs 50 pounds and uh, there's nothing really to hold on to on it. So that was real fun to get down here, but it's done. So now I'm gonna go back upstairs. I just got the table in by myself. That's a load of fun. I ended up using um, a towel to make kind of a ramp so I didn't hack the hell out of the sides and then I just picked it up from the side, rolled it in here, and uh, now it can be an eyesore in here and at least be clean. Update, update, oh, friggin' rights, update. 7.18 p.m., I've been working my ass off for uh, probably about three hours now. And we're done, boys. I didn't film any of it because I was busy and it's hot in here. But everything inside is done with the exception of just cleaning up some boxes in the basement. And uh, everything's vacuumed and put back together the way it should be. So, uh, all right, bring it on. I'm ready for spring. All right, so I told you it was warm, right? It was like 52. Well, now it, it must be back around freezing. It certainly doesn't feel like it. It feels pretty nice out here. But all of the snow and the ice that I chipped off the driveway, uh, you can only really see this spot in the light. Um, I used the shovel to get the snow out of here, and uh, well, that left a lot of water, and now it's all freezing. So my whole driveway is like a big ice skating rink. Yeah, so it's about 7.45, and I'm going to go over to Cannon's house, and for the first time in a while, I'm waiting for a ride. And I hate the feeling of not being, um, not having control over my own transportation, but I'm going to have to do with that till Monday. I talked to Dave Walter. Um, the parts, they ordered the 402 sensors, only three of them came. They waited until 4.45 to call me, uh, to call me back because they had a truck coming in at 4.45 or 4.30 probably. And they wanted to make sure that they weren't on the truck before they called me. If they were, they would have put them in and I'd have it now. But no, now I have to wait till Monday. Whatever. So they let me know how the carbon clean out thing went. Uh, they ran that solution through the engine for several hours at a very high temperature. And um, by visual inspection, it looks really good. They said it's really clean. It almost looks like new from what they can see without removing the engine from the car. They start it up, they drive it around the block for a couple minutes, the fault still returns. So, unfortunately, that didn't work. That's the only fault we're not going to be able to get rid of, which is the secondary air system. If you look it up, E39 M5, search for uh, carbon buildup, CBU. Uh, you will find hundreds of forum posts about people that have these cars that have the carbon buildup problem. It does not affect performance, it does not affect gas mileage, it only affects emissions. And that's why there's so much carbon that comes out of my exhaust, and as you know, is all over the wall that's in front of me, if you could see if it were light. So, it's significantly better. 
but there's just enough there to trigger the sensor to realize, hey, this is dirtier than it should be new, and it freaks out. So I'm gonna have to use my engine analyzer to reset the light just before I go into service, but at least we can get 10 out of 11 of those codes gone by Monday. At least we hope so. So Taylor's gonna go over to Cannon's 2, and uh, can you see my breath? Is it that cold yet? I don't know. But Cannon has the same speakers I have, the Bose, uh, Companion 2 Series 2, and he says that at a certain volume he picks up radio signals, which would make no sense, and he hears Rush Limbaugh, that dumbass conservative guy on the radio. So I'm going to go over and we're going to take a look at that, and then we're probably going to come back here and play some pick-up-on. All right, so we got Kenan's um, knockoff speakers. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, okay. All right, well, let's see what they do. Okay, so when they're... I was blast. Well, the story goes, I was blasting some Skrillex the other day, and uh, in between songs as it was changing, I could hear something that sounded like the radio, and I assumed that the radio was either on on the outdoor speakers outside, or someone was playing it downstairs or something, but it left it on. Nobody was home. Dicked. So, yeah, it was dicked. So uh, I paused the music, uh, and I f it wasn't the speakers outside, because I checked, and there are no radios anywhere I know of, so it, sure enough, uh, the QC... Uh, not QC15s, the, um, the Companion 2s were picking up uh, Rush Limbaugh, which is a broadcasted on an AM frequency, which around here is pretty strong. My grandfather actually picks up on his oh, mattress I, springs. I think they have... I think everybody knows who Rush Limbaugh everybody is. Knows. So when it's at this... It only works at one volume, and you hear it better than this speaker. <laughs> Position. All right. Can you hear it? Oh my gosh, you are picking up an RF frequency on that. Now leave it there. This this could be interesting. Leave the volume there. It looks like it's uh -oh. pretty far up. I hope we see if they can hear it. Yeah, I think they can. Alright, so leave it there. Now, what do you got back here? You have power, power to the other speaker and one RCA. What happens if we pull the RCA? Still there, so it's not something abstract in RCA. Let's pull the power or the uh, other speaker. Still there. Well, if we pull the power, we're not going to hear anything. That is very interesting. That desktop speakers can pick up an AM frequency. I thought it was F. Just dicked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dogs sense his presence. Oh, we hear him. Wait. <laughs> Only <laughs> yes. makes noises Hi. like yes. that. Wow, just like dicked. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, that is the most ridiculous thing we have ever seen. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I. <laughs> Here comes one. <laughs> comes another. We've got a glow-in-the-dark ping-pong table here, which the camera is barely picking up. You can definitely see the paddle, though. And the balls glow too, so uh, we're gonna try this. We'll try take two. I, I just started a clip and I wasn't actually filming. Um, I'm watching these two goofs play, or at least try to play ping pong. And it's good. They're doing pretty well. I have to be here at 30. Okay, I'll tell you, you're alone. All right, come on, Kenan. What was that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was that? Friggin' RT does. Get money, get paid. 